the, the, the narrative that's out there, often pushed by the government, and hopefully they won't be able to deny it now because the, these bombers have actually said it cl quite clearly why they've done it, right? Uh, is that it's a hate preacher. It's, a, it, it, you know, it's, it's some you know, crazy person who hates freedom. It's nothing to do with that. It's a political problem, and only a political solution is going to solve this. Okay, if you just bear with me for two seconds, I'm just going to read out for our viewers um, a statement from Help for Heroes. Um, it had been suggested that uh, the man who died was a serving soldier and he was wearing a Help for Heroes t-shirt when he was murdered. Uh, the statement reads, Help for Heroes is appalled to hear that a man believed to be a serving soldier has been brutally murdered in Woolwich today. We are desperately saddened to hear of this sickening attack and offer our thoughts and prayers to his family, colleagues and friends. So that, that a statement uh, from Help for Heroes there. Um, the operative word in that uh, um, charity's title is heroes. And that is the view of the vast majority of people in this country. And I, I don't want to labor this point, but I just want to go back to the suggestion that for many people, British lives are being lost in Afghanistan and had been lost in Iraq in the name of trying to do some good. This is the general argument. You're saying that's a Th There's place. the problem. Right. You're, you're absolutely right. In the name of something that is simply not true. The people in Afghanistan don't want the British troops there. The people across the Muslim Stop. world do not want the interference uh, uh, um, uh, of, the, of the Western world interfering in their countries. And they have suffered statistically across the board. Millions of lives have been lost and their lives have been ruined because of the policies uh, of our government and other governments in, in the Western world. And at some point, that anger and frustration is going to boil over. And you can see that, not just in Britain, but in America, in the, in the, in the uh, uh, bombings in Boston and across the attacks happening right around the world. And we've got to somehow grasp the, the bull by the horns and say, when are we going to have a serious debate about an ethical foreign policy? If you were to oppress the, any community in the in the whole world, whether it was the black community, they would at some point start to radicalize and some of them would take extreme action. The Muslims are not an aberration in history. They are acting exactly the way other communities have acted before. The only difference is that the government is claiming that it's nothing to do with them. And so the British public are in the dark as to why this is happening. They hate the Muslims because they believe it's an irrational response. And I'm saying it's an evil response, no doubt about it. It should be condemned, no doubt about it. But it is to be right. expected. Okay. Hasgar Bukhari, it's great to have you. And thanks very Pleasure. much for you for joining us. Thank you. Um, <laughs>